Once upon a time, there was a blue blob named Bob who hated going to school more than anything in the whole wide world. The other blobs at school were mean and picked on Bob every day just because he was blue. How do I know all this? Because I am Bob and this is my story. I live with my gran and granda in Blobton. I go to Blobton Academy and at one point I hated it. I hated it so much that some mornings I would lie and tell my gran that I wasn't feeling well so I could stay home from school. The other kids there were horrible to me, all because I was blue. They would call me Blobberry and say things like, Get away from us, Blobberry. We don't want to catch the blues from you. Or, Cheer up, Blobberry. Why are you so blue? Everyone else was red, green, yellow and purple, but I was the only blue blob in the whole of Blobton Academy. The things they would say were horrible, and it was so bad they wouldn't let me play games with them at playtime and made up nasty lies about me. I felt like there was nothing I could do to make it better. I couldn't tell my gran and granda because it would make them feel really sad. I felt so alone. The hardest thing was trying to put on a brave face when talking to my gran and granda or teachers at school. One day, a group of blobs chased me home from school. They kicked me and punched me so hard that I had dark blue lumps all over me. I went straight home and locked myself in my bedroom. My gran knew something was wrong and asked me, Bob, are you okay? Is something going on at school? I could have said something then, but I didn't. Another time at school, the blobs at Blobton stole my school bag and threw it in a puddle. I was going to try and dry it using one of the hand dryers in the bathroom when the head teacher saw me and asked, What happened, Bob? What happened to your bag? Is everything okay? I could have told the truth then, but I lied and said I dropped it by accident. It all came to a head one night when I started crying at dinner. I was so sad and worried about going back into school that I couldn't keep my brave face on anymore. My granda asked me, What's wrong, Bob? Are you okay? I was so upset that this time I told them everything. I told them all about the other blobs. I told them about my bag. I told them about the nasty names and punching and kicking. My grandparents hugged me. They told me it wasn't my fault and that they would be in contact with the school first thing in the morning because all of this was going to end now. My gran and granda met with the head teacher and told them everything that had been happening. The head teacher spoke to some of the blobs who were being especially mean, but he also held a school assembly. Everyone at the school was there. The head teacher said, You should never single someone out because of the way they look. The way you look has nothing to do with the blob you are. Every blob is different and that's what makes every blob special. Just then there was a flash and a blob sitting two rows in front of me changed colour right in front of everyone's eyes. The blob was now multicoloured stripes. Everyone cheered. Then there was another flash and another blob had changed colour. She was now lime green with pink and yellow polka dots. One by one all the blobs in the school changed colour. Every blob looked different, every blob was special, and what's more important, every blob was smiling, including me. Blobton Academy is a very different place now that everyone has shown their true colours. No one is afraid to be the person they are because everyone is different. We now think that you should treat everyone the same regardless of how they look because deep down, what's more important is the blob you are.